I've been here, I think I moved in December. Yeah, about December, so what's that? You're about six months now, so. Yeah. Got Jager and another housemate from Perth, so um, Curly's his name. There's a few mirrors in the house, so that's probably for Jags. He likes to check himself out, make sure he's looking his best. He cooks, he cleans, he's the package, he's got everything going for him, so there's not many, too many bad things I can say about him. Tom's a little bit hopeless with the, with the cooking. I remember one morning I was cooking fried eggs on the um, fry pan and Tom walked in and he goes, how do you cook those? <laughs> I think you were cooking on a barbecue and then you blew yeah. the barbecue up. So I left the gas on one night and blew the barbecue up, so that's probably <laughs> held me back a little bit. They're right near Punt Road, the Tiger Heartland, and then there's also Collingwood and Melbourne and some pretty big clubs in the area, so you always sort of see players from other clubs in the area, but um, it's a suburb that's always buzzing and a suburb that loves their footy, obviously with the MCG just around the corner, so it's pretty cool to be a part of that, but um, at the same time it can be hard to get away from it at times, but I actually enjoy it. Probably away from footy, I'm someone who just, just like any, anyone else really, I just love uh, hanging out with my mates, um, hanging out with my family. I think every aspect of my life I uh, get pretty competitive and um, it's probably what helps me on the footy field, but sometimes yeah, probably things I don't need to be competitive about, I don't need to be competitive about, but that's just probably my natural nature. Well, there's two sides to him, like there's a footy side that he's full on, like he will do anything to better himself and better the team, and then there's a side away from the footy field, and he's just a bloke that you love to have a laugh with, and um, someone that will get around the whole team, not just certain little side groups or whatever. He's very good at spreading himself, and. Even from when we just played a few games together as juniors, you could tell that he was a hard nut. Like he was always the one um, putting his head over the footy and, and winning the contested ball and, and tackling like a menace. Sydney was great. I spent five years up there, and yeah, it was pretty difficult. Obviously, after the 2016 Grand Final loss as well, it was something where as a team we came so close. But uh, the opportunity to come back to Melbourne and join a great club like Hawthorne um, really appealed to me. And then also the fact that. All my family and friends are down here as well. It was a pretty easy decision in the end. I'm just someone who just tries to get the best out of myself each week and um, just try and compete as hard as I can. And I know that I'm probably not gifted um, the most physically with strength, speed, um, fitness, but I just try to basically put in 100% effort and um, see where that takes me.